Okay. A second. Uh, second PSA. We wanted to show you this chart from Mads Tech. We appreciate Mads Tech, Ian Lewis, and this community. Obviously, we've talked about it many times. It will come up in the next story, actually, a little bit. But the main thing uh, that we wanted to tell you about this situation is that he went through and logged the O3 and Nevada channels and mm -hmm. compared them to the original DJI channels. And uh, it looks like most of the channel charts that are out there are just wrong because a lot of the channel charts have grouped the Nevada and the old system into the same channels. And if you go out with your friends, and you want to go flying, um, that's going to be detrimental possibly to your flight. Um, yeah. So yeah, good good thing to point out here. They are shifted a little bit. I don't think that's as big of a deal. So one and one are shifted a little bit between O3 and F1 yeah, and, and 2 and 2 are. But uh, you'll notice that O3 skips three and moves three down to the four slot, moves four down to the five slot, and most interestingly puts five over eight. And eight is the public channel for the V1 system. So everybody coming up on the public channel will stomp the O3 on five. You're just going to get stomped. And if you're trying to mismatch each other, you have multiple people flying, and you're choosing three, and the other, you know, V1's choosing four, you're going to be stomping each other. So yeah. you're just going wow. to want to be paying special attention to those channels when you're when you're doing those manual selection. The other thing that uh, uh, stands out to me about this is that you, if you have the DJI O3 in auto mode, it does not use the whole band, which I assumed it would. Uh, but that does not seem to be what this chart indicates, and Madstech certainly knows what he's... He certainly got the tools to test and verify this. Um, my my approach when using the O3 with other pilots has just been to put it put it in auto mode and let it handle uh, frequency mitigation. But if I'm not if it's not using the entire band, I kind of don't know how I feel about that. Well, well. So he says basically in auto video goggles RC and these carriers in Note One are all on separate frequencies in that range and should be assumed this whole part of the band is occupied. So even though they're jumping around and doing stuff, you kind of have to make an assumption because it's going to do its own jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so maybe better to manually set channel, but manually yeah. set channel looking at this chart. Right. Now you All can right. know where that block of those channels is, which is in that three, four, five, eight range on the old system. So, yeah. Is Ian here in the chat? Chris B has a good suggestion. Uh, I don't know if he's in the Discord, if he's active right now, but he suggests adding the Wi-Fi channels. Totally agree. Yeah. Uh, just so people know which Wi-Fi channels are going to interfere where. Very good point. Okay. Well, thanks to Madstech for that.